So liquid liner can be a really tricky thing to use and here are some tips to make it a little bit easier for you. The liquid liner that I'm going to use today is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Liner. This one's amazing. I love to use it because it dries very quickly and it also stays on. It's definitely waterproof. Um, this is also a felt tip type of eyeliner. There are a lot of different types of liquid liners. You could use a cream liner that you apply with a brush. You could also use the other type of liquid liner where you um, dunk it back and forth into a pot. This one's just a little bit easier for me and if you don't have the best hand, this will be um, easy for you as well. I already prepped her with her other eye. This is what we're gonna aim to get on the other side. Symmetry is a huge thing for liquid liner. Basically where we wanna start is right at the lash line. So I like to start in the middle because it's a little bit easier instead of starting in here where it needs to be very thin or at the end where we're making a wing. So just kind of concentrate on the lash line first, just making it as thin as possible. If you see, I'm just doing tiny little strokes. And make sure you're not skipping any spaces in between the lashes. You want it to be as thin as possible first. We'll build it later. So once you have the entire lash line covered, we're gonna start by building it as thin as possible at the inner corner and building it towards the outer corner. So you just wanna think of it going thin and getting a little thicker. I like to start building right around here. I'm just gonna kinda start to bring it outward. So as you can see, I'm just building, I'm doing little strokes. You don't have to get it all done in one sweeping motion, just take your time. That's a big thing with liquid liner, patience. And you wanna make sure it looks really smooth. Make sure it stays straight, as you can see. Now we're getting to the edge here. We're gonna do a little bit of a wing. You don't necessarily have to do a wing. You could actually just kind of drop it off, fade it into the side, but for this look, we like a little bit of a wing. As you can see, the shadow we already have on is guiding us as how we wanna take the wing. It's also really important when you're doing liquid liner that you don't think about taking the line and swooping it upwards. You actually wanna just continue building it and make the line um, pretty much straight when the eye is closed because when you open, it'll look curved. So here we're gonna start the wing. I'm gonna kinda of take it downwards actually. And I'm actually, if you can see, pulling the eyelid outwards just to tighten it a little bit, just so you, it's a little bit easier to drag the liner and get it really nice and clean. Now, when we're doing this little tip out here, you don't wanna use much pressure, very light. And you wanna keep checking, making sure you're making both eyes even. There we go, and you always wanna connect this down to the base of the lash and make sure that it's connected. Okay, and if you need to clean up a little bit, I'm gonna do a little bit on the tip. Just do so. I like to use um, just a Q-tip, some makeup, makeup remover. You can just kind of do a little sweep here. Get it nice, perfect. And you can even use a concealer brush and a little bit of concealer to just kind of firm up and clean up that line. And you wanna just kind of add it right in there and then blend it down. And I like to just tap it in with my finger, make it look natural. And that is how to do liquid liner. <laughs>